Hello, a good day to you. In today's video, we'll have a look at how to set up a reverse lookup zone in DNS. Okay, basically what this is, is when we type in, in PowerShell, okay, let's just exit out of that. Shall we say we want to find the IP address of a company? DNS helps us by us giving google.com and it turns it into an IP address. Okay, reverse lookup is the exact opposite. We type in an IP address and we want the DNS server to basically give us back the name of that domain. Okay, as an example, let's have a quick look over here. Okay, NS lookup. Okay. And then set type equals pointer. Okay. And now we have a server, server 005, or even this case, server 006, has that IP address. Okay. So let's just type in 192.168.0.30. Okay. Now, if we had a reverse lookup setup, it would come back and say it's called server 006. Now, that's not there. So we need to go into DNS Manager. How do we do that? We open up Server Manager in Server 2016. It's click over there, click over there, and then click on that. Okay. In Server 2012, it was via Start Screen or it was pinned to the taskbar. Okay. So we now have this, and then this opens up like that. Click on DNS, right click over there. DNS manager, then basically select the server that you have. Yours will be different over here. Ours is what is set up for our demo environment. Okay, so basically now reverse lookup zones. New zone, very simple. Next, make it as a primary zone. Perfect. Okay, secondary zone is like a copy zone, a backup zone, stub zone, uh, kind of like a cheaper version of a copy okay next okay M see how you want the zone data replicated basically this is a nice idea the do the default over here is quite good okay next okay you choose an IP version 4 or 6 in this case we're doing 4 now what we do is we type in the first three okay first three bytes 192.168.0 0. Okay, and then it'll be able to resolve all the others. Okay, click next. Okay, only secure updates. That is ideal as it's Active Directory and we're wanting to be secure. Now that's happily set up. Okay, okay. Now we can type in the address that we had before and it finds it. Okay. Sometimes it may not be instantaneous because this needs to start slowly building up all its pointers. Okay. Um, so basically it might require a restart, a refresh or a reload. You know, refreshes over there, reloads over there. Okay. And basically other servers when they join up to the domain when they log in it starts building it up so over time it starts to get populated alternatively if you want you can create pointers okay so that'll be 31 okay and then the host name is server 005 okay do not take that one okay it's not necessarily you don't take it it's just Okay, and there you go. It's server 005. You could have given it the full name like that, but server 005 is good enough for now. Okay, um, hopefully, this has helped. Thank you for watching.